know, in hindsight, maybe I should have talked to Alan before I just got, started walking around the city like a madman. <laughs> well, oh well. What's going on, guys? This is your boy Project Iceman. I'll bring you another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. In the last episode, um, a lot happened. A lot happened, man. Uh, Venom turned to stone. Mm. Venom turned to stone. Lavender's injured. They're both at the um, Hospital of Hope. And I have an iffy feeling about that Hospital of Hope. I'm really having a bad feeling about this city all in all. With, you know, Cassandra being the member of Team Zen um, and all that. Anything could be happening. They just could be incapacitating um, um, gym leaders in a different way. Kind of like how they did before with uh, tra traders who had three badges. Traders who had three badges were captured and then taken to Black Steeper Prison. This could be just a new, all new way. Uh, but that's just speculation on my part. It's just some stuff I think about. Um, as for right now, I'm trying to get a nightmare. I should have talked to Alan before I decided to go around the city, trying to figure out where to go, how to do stuff. But, oh, oh well. What, you have trouble finding the Puppet Master? Oh. You have to have a nightmare in order to see him. I think I heard someone downstairs crying about how he always has nightmares. Maybe you should talk to him. And that's why they wanted me to leave. One second. I just needed to close my phone now. I've been having a ton of nightmares lately ever since I visited that woman's shop. Huh? You said you want to know how I get nightmares? Why would I want why would you want to know how I get nightmares? Blah, whatever, I'll tell you anyway. Ever since I bought them this medallion from this woman's shop, I've been getting nightmares. I believe her shop was here at Pokestar Studios. I think it was down some alleyway or something. Hey. Screw that, I'm not walking there. Say it's this place. Hello there. Would you like to look at my wares? Some person told you that an item I sold that started to cause me nightmares? Ah, so it was the lad who bought the nightmare medallion. I tried to explain to him what it was, but he looked was far too interested in his looks. Yes, I do sell them, but as I am going by, they will cause nightmares. The only way to get the nightmares to stop would be to throw it away. Malia! Malia! It's got to be! It's got to be! You 
think she would you think she would know better than to get just get a medallion <laughs> it's literally called nightmare medallion you think she would have known I wonder if she had a, I wonder if she had a visit with the puppet master as well or if it's just me that's gonna be able to do this. different, okay? I get it. I don't need another person pointing that out to me. It's been a long time. I screwed up so badly that it threw me into an eternal coma. So much for eternal, huh? I wish I never woke up. I don't know. You think I have all the answers or something? Well, newsflash, I don't, so stop asking me questions. Ugh, there I go again. Shen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you like that. Ever since I woke up, I've been acting so weirdly. I don't know what to do. I woke up from an eternal coma being eternally grumpy. Look, I'll answer all of your questions later, okay? First, we should try to find a way out of this place. Wait, so you're trying to tell me that you don't want to leave? And that you're looking for someone called the Puppet Master? So you're looking for him as well? I guess fate brought us both well, together then. I'm looking for the Puppet Master so that he can tell me how to change me back. When I woke up, I had red hair, a different personality. Ah, so it was you. A strange people around me. It's as if I woke up in an entirely different body. It's a horrifying feeling. Imagine going to bed one person, and then suddenly you're someone else entirely. That being said, let's work together again. I got your back, Shen, just like old times. That, for a fact, will never change. I can see myself across the road, but I need help to cross it before I need- because I need help. Help me! Oh, I see. My anxiety is too bad for this. It's too bad. It's too bad that I don't have, have enough bad for this. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, so that's how I wake up, at least. Uh, you phased through that gate too, right? That was just me? Okay, well, at least I'm not going crazy. Or perhaps I am. Who knows anymore at this point? Whether or not you're just an apparition or fig just a figment of my imagination, I don't care. I'm really glad to see you again, Shen. Ah, oh, reunions are so f much fun, aren't they? Where did that come from? You know, I probably won't ever get to experience something like that ever again. I'll probably just be here and be bored, same as always. Show yourself! Ah, oh, is that how you really greet an old thou? That's not very nice of you. Is it Zeta? Man, is it great to see you two suckers again. Oh, how long has it been? A few weeks? A few months? Are we going with Team Skull theme? Remix! Oh, Dolly, don't give me that face. You're breaking my heart. What are you doing here? I thought... You thought what? There's no way you could have known what happened to me. You wanna know why, Amita? Because you failed your friends, girl. You left them to deal with us alone. While you were off taking a snooze, others had to finish the job without your help. And because of that, things didn't go quite so well in that end. I think both sides lost people. Two on your side, and one on ours. We, we lost people on Valor Mountain? Oh yeah, it was quite sad actually. Leah lost her poor old man. And the whole group lost Nim. Fell straight into a lava pit below. No. No, that's not true. You're lying. Why would I lie about that, huh? Like I said, we lost people on our side too. 
And who exactly did you use? <laughs> I guess you could say I lost myself. That Zeta in the real world is no longer the guy you knew from school. Turns out he was a Solosis that was experimented on to be a clone of Melia. <laughs> excuse me? So it's just as I thought. This isn't some sort of dream, is it? It's not the real world. It's not, but I can't exactly say it's not a dream either. <laughs> We're in Nightmare City. Nightmare City? That's what I said, didn't I? Even if I don't exist in the real world, I'm doing pretty well for myself here. My new boss, the Puppet Master, gave me a roof over my head. Rather, an entire world to play in. So you're a pawn of the Puppet Master then? I've always seemed to be a pawn to someone, in the real world or not. Out of everyone in the world, why you? Huh. I'm not going to give you all the answers yet, just yet. I gotta leave you two in your own thoughts for a little while, otherwise you'll retain nothing. So this is goodbye for now. We'll see each other real soon. So I know it. Ugh, none of this makes any sense to me. This is all my fault. If I wasn't so stubborn and listened to the eldest, I would've... I would've been there to help everyone out. Everything would've been fine. Not really, man. Because we wouldn't have been able to even get past to the Valor Mountain without the um, magma rock. And if you didn't... <clears throat> and if you didn't open the door, we never would have made our way to, through that door with the magma rock in it. The person who would have taken the magma rock would have been... I forgot her name. The, pop, the maid for, who works for uh, Angie. What's her name again? Hmm. We might have been, have been able to save Nim and Malia's father, Professor Jenner. The city's name's quite fitting, isn't it? It's just a nightmare. Come on, we're going to find this Puppet Master guy together. I kind of want to talk to the people here. I'm scared to go to the doctor. He scares me and I don't want to go. You can't make me go to the doctor. I swore I looked around and I swore there was something to get here. Shiny, 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 shiny. Okay. <laughs> what am I supposed to do when the train is late? The train is late, so my soul is late. Hmm. Silent, slice and dice and dice and dicey. Sweet like icy. <laughs> Bars. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is. Uh. So, I guess wrong way? Are you serious? Everywhere we go, there's some sort of obstacle. Well, do things ever tend to go right in nightmares? All nightmares end eventually. You're no different. That's true, so why don't we just try to get along for now? You know, I'd appreciate it more if you didn't just didn't bother us anymore. Ah, oh, but I'm not done playing with you two. I mean, after all this is done, when are we going to talk again? Yeah, you're right. After all this is all of this is done, we probably won't see your ugly mug ever again. I can't speak for everyone, but I'm sure that's something no one would care about. You're probably right. Eh, not like it matters much anyway. You're just talking to a manifestation of someone's nightmare. If you want to come this way, you'll have to go to the shopping district first. Ugh, as you wish, Zeta. Let's go, Shane. He won't let us go this way, and I don't think that... We could force our way through. Let's just head on over to the shopping district and get this over with. If I fell, would you catch me then fall again in love with the catch me then fall again? Get out of here. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Ooh, a rock rough. An item. My ice cream, my ice cream, my ice cream, my ice cream. Uh, hey, uh, Shen, there's something I wanted to say for a little bit. I have to apologize for running away from you in Dark Black Woods. I know you didn't know who I was at the time, but I knew it was you immediately. I just couldn't face you because of the way I looked. You also caught me off guard quite a bit. I was sort of in the middle of something. Listen, I'm not exactly supposed to be out here on my own. When I woke up, I was with the eldest and two other people. I was at some old monk's house with his granddaughter, Erin. 
Ever since then, I've been monitored daily. I would notice them following me when I wasn't looking. They would ask, always ask me a million questions every time I did something as simple as reading. I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. I needed to leave immediately. So, I ran away. We've all got our own problems, son. Problems that don't concern you. Why don't they concern me? Uncle Zeta is here to listen to your problems. We're all here for you. Don't hesitate to tell us how you feel. Are you trying to seem impressive or something? Because the amount of impress to people is still zero. Dang, you're so mean now. What happened to you? I understand waking up terribly, but you're asleep right now. I wouldn't be in such a bad mood if you just stopped messing with us. Man, you're childish. You know, I think I prefer the other people that came to this place. They all think they're dreaming, so they're a ton of fun to be around. Wait, all these other people are actually people in the real world? Everyone present is having some sort of nightmare. But the puppet master takes those nightmares and throws them away. Instead, he brings you to Nightmare City. I see. So technically you can't have a nightmare while in Grand Dream City. How is that even possible? Who is the puppet master? You know, I don't really know myself. I don't think anyone in Team Zen is aware of his presence either. This is like a whole different level. But that's all you're going to get from me. My boss is starting to get upset with me. Ta-ta. So everyone here is actually a real person. When they wake up, most of them blah blah blah, they wake up. But is that the case here? so fast that it hyper potion basic stuff Can't I just... Can't I just go to law school and become a chef? Chefs don't know how to cook. What in the world is that? I love the way you look at the abyss. What's the point of having us run over here? This guy is wasting our time. What time is he even passing, that is. Ugh, I'm sick of this. I knew this would be a bad idea. And why is that, Alita? Jeez, you kids aren't phased by anything anymore, huh? We've seen worse. Alright, we're here. What do you want us to do now? Do you want us to climb the, a building and jump off it while ha only having one eye and open? Or perhaps you would like us to order different types of ice creams at a specific order? This place is your playground, right? Let's, ju let's just make it quick. Yikes! Girl, you need to calm the hell down! What's gotten your panties in a twist? We've got plenty of time. Whatever you say. Hey, you know, I never think... I never, don't ever think you told me how you got here. Why don't you try explaining it to the class? All I did was fall asleep, and I woke up here. Next. Oh, come on now. That can't be all. You can't only be here if you're invited by the puppet master. There has to be some important reason. For the love of... I heard you say you were looking for him so that he could fix you. Fine. I heard rumors about the puppet master being able to tell you anything. You need something answered? Go to the puppet master and he'll give you an answer. So I brought a so I bought a nightmare in Benelli and fell asleep. Now here I am. Fascinating story, Alita. I almost shed a tear, actually. Let's talk about how I came to be here, because I'm sure that's what we were all waiting for. To tell you the truth, I'm only recently appeared in this dimension myself. When Shen and their group took their first night's rest, someone had a nightmare about me. And thus I spawned here immediately. Who had a nightmare about you? Either Big Sis really misses me, or she's really scared of me. Hey Shen, do you want to see something? What do you think I look like with my hair unbraided? I look just like her, don't I? Zeta, I don't get it. Why are you showing this to us? I don't know. 
To me, it sounds like you sort of miss Malia or something. I never had a family. Team Zen created me, yes, but they never loved me. I wonder how Malia and I would get along if we didn't get off the wrong foot. I don't know, but being on Team Zen's side didn't really help me. Don't you think I know that? What choice did I have, anyway? I knew nothing of the world but Team Zen. I didn't even remember what I was like before I was human. What guideline did I really have to have the option to follow? Now I'm just a lonely nightmare walking around. I was that bad of a person. Bad enough to come back as a nightmare. How annoying. You all want to get to the tour? You all want to get to the toy box, right? I'm done blocking your way for now. Just go for it. After all he's done, I can't help but pity him a little. I guess he was no different from a troubled child. Let's head to the toy box now, Shen. I'll be happy when all of this is over and done with. Drink before you are a cafe. Drink because you are here, cafe. You are here, and Amika's cafe is great. The puppet master brought me here to sh show me his collection of puppet masters. Yay! Hey, a vanilla ice cream! I could give it to that kid. Let's go and try and go and fight again and fight and go again. Oh, so there you are. Wait. I went for Feather Dance? Alright guys, I'm updating my phone, so I'm kind of multitasking here.
imagine if they just suddenly remember. Yeah, that's You said we were done playing games. Sadie, you said you weren't going to bother us again. Eh, I guess I'm bad at keeping promises. Sorry, but there's one last thing I want to bother you. One very, very small thing. I want to battle between you and uh, I and Shen. But this battle won't be between Sorna and Nora's friends. Just two trainers who have Pokemon and locked eyes. And you know what that means, right? You cannot refuse a battle.
Why is the sweet all living? money. Just in a few minutes, but I forgot to get dressed. <laughs> a puff of pancakes. if I step here. 
hopefully that's like a safe a, a safe zone. Nope. Well then I'll end the episode right here. I'll see you guys in the next one.